functional medicine is not a new test or treatment or supplement. Functional medicine is a way of thinking about solving the puzzle of chronic disease. It treats the body as a system, as a series of biological networks that all are dynamically interacting to create healthy disease. It understands the body is in a state of balance or imbalance and understands that creating health is what we're focusing on. What is the science of creating health? Whereas conventional medicine is the science of disease, functional medicine is the science of health. Conventional medicine looks at what? What disease do you have? What drug do I give? Functional medicine is the medicine of why. Why do you have this disease? What's the underlying cause? It deals with things at the root. It treats the system, not the sympt symptoms. It treats the whole organism, not just the organs. And from integrative medicine, it's quite different because it may use some of the tools of integrative medicine, but functional medicine is really a roadmap. It's really an architecture, it's a methodology, it's a philosophy, it's, a, it's really a new paradigm shift. It's not just integrating the best of alternative therapies like acupuncture, or homeopathy, or osteopathic medicine with conventional care. It basically realizes that those methods are great, but they shouldn't be integrated with a model of disease that is the wrong model. So functional medicine reframes all that and creates a new umbrella for thinking about how to treat disease using all the methods, but using this new model. So we have something in medicine called comorbid conditions, which means people have multiple conditions. Like one guy had asthma and inflammatory bowel disease. He lost all the hair in his body called alopecia and he had high blood pressure and he was overweight and had prediabetes. So he went to five or six different doctors on 15 medications. We said, gee, maybe there's something causing all these that's at the root of it. So we cleared out gluten from his diet because he was celiac and nobody had diagnosed it in 40 years. And in four months, his hair was growing back, his inflammatory bowel was gone, his asthma was gone, his blood pressure was normalized, he lost 25 pounds, and all of his symptoms were better. So we just have to get to the root and use food as the lever and use things to help optimize health. And by creating health, disease goes away as a side effect. We don't literally treat disease by name, we treat the system and then the symptoms go away. I believe in something called self-health, that most conditions, 80% of the problems we see in chronic disease can be taken care of by people taking care of themselves, by changing their diet, by learning some basic life skills like cooking, <laughs> by moving their bodies, by dealing with stress in a good way, by getting enough sleep. These are very fundamental principles that seem simple but have profound effects. I saw a man the other day who lost 106 pounds, got off 15 medications, by changing his diet and following some simple principles, getting off the foods that were inflammatory, off the processed foods, off the sugar, refined foods, getting off the processed fats like trans fats, getting off food additives, and adding back lots of real, whole, fresh food. Basically, it was you know, made in a factory. It's a factory-made science project. We shouldn't outsource our cooking to corporations. We should learn to cook and eat real food at home. Most Americans spend more time watching cooking on TV than actually cooking. And I believe that cooking at home is probably the most important thing you can do to save your life and your family's life, and in fact, save the planet. Because when you cook and eat real food at home, it changes everything. And for me, it's a huge priority. Every night when my kids were growing up, I cooked food at home. I was a busy doctor, but I made sure it was a priority. And the things that I love to cook are really simple, fresh food. So in the morning, I make, for example, a whole food protein shake that's in my books, where I put in wild blueberries, cranberries, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, almonds, walnuts. I put in some almond butter, coconut butter, some almond milk, blend it up, and it's just a delicious whole food protein shake that keeps me through the day. Lunch would be something simple, like some arugula with a can of wild salmon on there. Maybe I throw some, some nuts on there, some toasted pumpkin seeds, an avocado, some tomatoes, five minutes, olive oil and vinegar, very easy. You don't have to get fancy. And for dinner, one of my favorite things is what I call my skirt steak salad, where I take a big plate and I put a bed of arugula, I cut up some sliced fennel, which is really crunchy, tastes like licorice, sliced avocado, some cherry tomatoes, simple things to make. And I, I take some skirt steak, salt and pepper, put it on the grill, slice it thin, put it on there, glaze of balsamic vinegar and some olive oil, salt and pepper, and it's an extraordinary simple meal that tastes delicious, it's easy, it'll press, impress everybody and takes about five minutes to make. So when I refer to detox, I refer to it sort of in a holistic sense, taking away the things that are impairing your health and adding the things that create health. So you detox from processed food, from sugar, from bad fats, from inflammatory foods, from food allergens, 
And when you do that, and you also detox stress, and you detox your bad thoughts, and you detox your environment that's not working for you, is in a holistic way, you can really see very quickly how you can feel better. So we, we did a 10-day detox program called the 10-day detox diet. And we had 600 people do this. Now, of course, they lost weight, 4,000 pounds in, in 10 days, and two inches off their waist on average. Their blood sugar dropped 20 points on average, blood pressure 10 points. That's all great. But what was really amazing to me was that there was a 62% reduction in all symptoms from all diseases in 10 days. So people can connect the way they're eating with how they feel, and people are very close to feeling good. They don't realize that, only, that they're only a few days away from health and happiness, that the power of food to change your biology isn't something that takes years or months. Literally, it takes days to shift out of an imbalanced, sick physiology to a healthy physiology, and it works very quickly. So we see in, in 10 days, people can you know, get rid of chronic lifelong symptoms like reflux or asthma or joint pain. One guy had rheumatoid arthritis and his symptoms all went away in 10 days. Another person had had asthma for years and a cough and had reflux and had been using eight you know, bottles of Tums a week and they were gone in one week. And his cholesterol came down 100 points and his triglycerides 300 points in 10 days. We don't see that with medication.